So here we have old time, Roosevelt time, not old, but relatively old. So times and pennies are almost similar in diameter, as you all know. See, for most wrong planchet errors are dime, cent combinations. Cent struck on dime, dime struck on cent planchets. So this one is 1969D. Roosevelt time in circulated condition and with obvious contact marks and medium wear on high points. I guess it's not mint softness, meaning strike softness. It seems like a circulation wear to me on high points. We have some tarnish here around the letterings. Edge is worn a little bit and coppery stripe is totally brown. But here on the reverse, reverse die was eroded, obviously, therefore it is very weakly struck. I'm not talking about full bands, but even full torch is worn, neither vertical nor uh, horizontal bands are seen or distinguishable. So very bad eye appeal. So I guess it's in very fine condition by coin grading scale. And let's see for how much these sell and if it is sought after by collectors in certain grades. So weight is 2.27 gram, diameter 17.9 millimeters and Mintage is half billion, over 563 million. And the D mint mark denotes that it was struck by Denver Mint. First start was mint state because our coin is uh, not doesn't show full bands or full torch motifs. So we should use this guiding price. So in very good, we don't need very good, we need very fine. So very fine condition. It is something around 15 cents. Because the dime is 10 cents, but due to its content and melt value, in very fine condition, it is worth around 15, 15 cents. Uh, above average circulation conditions, like AU55, 15 cents. The, more, the highest available about uncirculated condition, AU58 plus, 35 cents. And when it comes to mint state, starting from MS61, the price is around $1. You see strong drop in population and submissions as well, meaning that full, uh, full torch or full band specimens are elusive. So here we have uh, three submissions to NGC for mean state 65 with full torch. NGC designates it as a full torch, not full bands. Three submissions and a guiding price is $50. MS67 specimens also has three submissions. And guiding price is $625. And we can go and check PCGS database as well. Highest available grade is MS68. And guiding price is $700 with five submissions with none finer. And the most recent sale was realized in 2013 at Heritage Auctions, $153. Now let's check out with full bands. So starting from MS66 with full bands, it gets uh, premiums uh, with PCGS showing certain submissions. Two hundred guiding price is two hundred dollars, and the highest grade available is MS68 with full bands. But I think that one is NGC or Anex. Because no, it's PCGS population. Sorry, 
but they don't show guiding price it is bizarre a little bit and according to heritage according to pcgs uh, sales records was realized in 2018 auction record the most valuable specimen it means the 67 was full bands this one was sold for 999 dollars something over that few and 50 cents nearly 